Hello fungus and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today I would like to continue talking about mycoviruses and this video will be focused on very interesting question. How do mycoviruses affect the destiny of their fungal host? If you watched my video about basic biology of mycoviruses, you probably remember that mycoviruses are viruses that infect all kinds of fungi. They use fungal cells for multiplication. Mycoviral infection doesn't have a common phenotypical sign for all types of fungi. Sometimes mycoviral infection goes silently without any manifestations, but there are many examples of virus-related changes in the fungal cells that can be beneficial or detrimental to fungus. Mycoviral infection may cause hypovirulence, hypervirulence, killer toxin production, alteration of host metabolism and tolerance to abiotic factors. At this point, it's important to remind you that virulence is an ability of the pathogen to cause damage to a host. Now, let's talk about hypovirulence. Hypovirulence is a mycoviral effect of attenuation or reduction of virulence of fungal host. Hypovirulence attracts attention of scientists because of its potential to be used for biocontrol of fungal diseases. The most studied case of hypovirulent effect is the interaction between the phytopathogenic fungus Cryphonectea parasitica and its virus Cryphonectea hypovirus 1. Cryphonectea parasitica is a causal agent of chestnut blight, a devastating disease of chestnut trees. Symptoms include reddish-brown bark patches, which are developing into cracked canker that kill twigs and limbs. Gradually, the entire tree will die. An estimated 4 billion trees have been wiped out by this fungus, which significantly alters forest structures and has impact on the nut and lumber industries. Cryphonectea hypovirus 1, or in short CHV1, infects Cryphonectea parasitica and reduces its growth, sporulation and virulence. The hypovirus is dispersed with the spores and then transmitted from the outgrowing spores to other fungal individuals via hypoanastomosis. Cankers on the trees can be therapeutically treated with hypovirus infected Cryphonectea parasitica strains. The hypovirus may subsequently spread to untreated cankers and become established in the Cryphonectea parasitica population. We are only on the way to understanding the mechanism of mycovirus fungus interaction. But even now, mycoviruses have been started to serve the needs of agriculture. Hypervirulence causes the opposite of the hypovirulence effect. Mycovirus induces hypervirulence, enhances virulence and symptoms caused by fungi. A hypervirulence may have two sides. On the one hand, mycoviruses could be the key element of biological insecticides. For example, the entomopathogenic fungus Boveria bassiana has a wide host range and is used as a biocontrol agent against insects and the other arthropods. According to the literature, mycovirus Boveria bassiana partitivirus 1 may enhance the virulence of the fungal host. In this case, mycoviral infection improves the effectiveness of fungal-based insecticides and could provide better protection of crops in agriculture. And maybe in the future, mycovirus-induced hypervirulence will decrease consumption of chemical insecticides. On the other hand, stronger killer phenotype of fungus brings the big threat of destruction of entire population of plants or animals. For example, Pseudogymnascus destructans is a pathogenic fungus that parasites the bats and causes deadly disease called white nose syndrome. This pathogen has directly or indirectly caused the death of more than 5.7 million bats since 2006. It was shown that all isolates from North America region was infected with the same mycovirus Pseudogymnascus destructans partitivirus 1, and these bats were not able to develop resistance to fungal pathogen. The same species of fungus exists also in Europe and Asia region, but resident bat population is appeared to be resistant to the endemic fungus. It's very interesting investigation, taking into consideration that these European and Asian Pseudogymnascus destructans isolates don't harbor the mycovirus. Killer toxins in yeast cells are polypeptides that kill sensitive cells of the same or related species, often functioning by creating pores in the target cell membrane. The classical organism for research of mycovirus-related production of killer toxins is Baker yeast. Production of killer toxins is associated with helper LA mycovirus and small satellite mycovirus M, which encodes killer toxin. Combination of LA 
and satellite M mycoviruses leads to the production of killer toxins by E cells. Killer toxins provide benefits in terms of direct competitions among strains and possibly ecological interactions, including predation, protection from pathogens, and habitat colonization. Helper LA mycovirus by itself doesn't cause killer phenotype, and the infection in yeast cells goes asymptomatically. There are many examples of how viruses may alter fungal metabolism. Here I'll show you only two, just to demonstrate how important to study fungal viruses. Mycoviruses may alter mycotoxin production. For example, Aspergillus ochroceus virus caused a specific interaction that led to an overproduction of ochratoxin A, which is, according to the European Commission, the second most important contaminant of the food. Ochratoxin A accumulation is known to occur in cereals, coffee, dried fruit, red wine, and in the meat of animals. Exposure to ochratoxins through diet can cause acute toxicity in mammalian bodies, leading to kidney failure. Also, mycoviruses may affect fungal biomass production. Tuyrotus ostriatus, also known as oyster mushroom, is a delicious edible fungus, the third cultivated mushroom in the world. Recently, it was shown that mycoviral infection may reduce biomass of fruit bodies of this mushroom. It was shown that over time, fruit in bodies of the mycovirus infected strain exhibited symptoms such as short and plump stems and few and small caps compared to the two virus cured strains. The mushroom weights of two virus free strains were increased to 56% and almost 86% respectively compared to virus infected strain. Mycoviruses can increase tolerance of fungal host to abiotic factors. Curvularia thermal tolerance virus is extraordinary virus that gives benefits not only to the host fungus Curvularia protuberata, but also to the plant that is colonized by the fungus. The tropical hot spring pine grass Dicotherium lanoginosum usually grows in geothermal areas of Yellowstone National Park in the United States. It's able to withstand really high temperatures. Under closer investigation, it was shown that neither virus-free fungus nor plant infected by virus-free fungus were not able to survive at temperatures exceeding 38 degrees Celsius. But the symbiotic association of mycovirus, fungus, and plant allows both to survive at extreme temperatures up to 65 degrees Celsius.